This is BBC Two. It's time to make the floor burn. Manchester Posse who just come all the way from up north. Let's hear it for Manchester. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Let's off, let's off. But first of all, let's see what we got in the show for you. Peace. Check this out. <laughs> Uh, respect each and every time. What can I say? The first man on the stand is my main man, DJ Danny Rampley from South London. Been DJing for years and years about no fears. Right now on the lead vocal tip is my man Eusebi out of the north, taking it up with the sound of Shum with their latest single, I Hate Hate. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we do, and we hate our own sin. There's even hate going on today between the young folks and the old. Can't you see that all this hate is eating up our very soul? your fellow man uh, you see love's got the all time greatest power you see love can brighten up your darkest hour Hey. 
the Dance Energy News. This week's top story from the fashion front line, Sneaker Wars. Is it the shoes? Money, it's gotta be the shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. shoes. Nike. Three box. I like your Nike. Three box. I like your Nike Air. The competition. Nike. Basketball. Jump high. For the past five years, Nike and Reebok have dominated the urban street shoe market. Now with the growth declining, the multi-billion dollar industry faces a new challenge for top position. LA gear. With sales of women's aerobic shoes falling dramatically, LA gear have realized the time has come to move out of the gym and onto the streets. Now it's time to play. Serious hang time. They're fighting for market share, like any, uh, in any uh, industry. There's a rivalry among the, the uh, sneaker companies precisely because there's just so much money involved. I mean, these are the biggest companies in the sporting goods market by far. They're going to be at war for, for as long as people are interested in these kinds of shoes. Nice shoes. The menswear market is the combat zone. The urban street warrior demands an authentic, high-performance sports shoe. Reebok and Nike were the first to target inner-city youth, and now LA Gear are doing the same. This is something you can buy. I think with any leader, people have a tendency to get as close to them as they can. LA Gear has uh, done some patterns that look similar to ours. And uh, we're going to continue to lead and let them do what they're going to do. A lot of leather, it's light, and it's comfortable. And I'm going to wear it. Our uh, transition into men's has been fabulous. Matter of fact, our men's business now is uh, rapidly growing to be over 30% of our business overall. LA Gear's traditional Baywatch image cut no ice with the street scene, but Nike and Reebok's tactics of aggressive ads and celebrity endorsement definitely did. So 1990 began with a new look LA Gear. Joe, I'm glad you had a great off season, but now it's time to get back to work. Showtime. You do everything in those shoes? Everything. I think that we're still perpetuating the same image. It's a lifestyle image. Um, we entered into the men's market a couple years ago, and uh, we've gotten very performance oriented on that side of that business. But overall, the image really hasn't changed. LA Gear's target market is much different than ours. They are after that fashion consumer. We are after the performance consumer. Today, Mr. Robinson's going to talk about his Nike shoes. Mr. Robinson likes the Nike Air cushioning. Don't I know you? Nice shoes. Are you sure we haven't met before? Do you know how I get up for my game? Do you know, do you know, do you know? That's right, Air Jordan, Air Jordan, Air Jordan. Mike, what's up? Oh, m money, money, why you wanna do that to me? Why you leave me hanging? If we detail our shoes right and they continue to perform the way they will, uh, we don't need to worry about LA gear, we just gotta worry about Nike. LA Gear has successfully eaten into Reebok sales and is heading for Nike's position. But being number one in the urban market brings its own problems. Operation Push is a special interest group uh, that uh, represents the interests of black people in the United States. And they've uh, taken, on, taken aim at Nike for um, its advertising practices and um, also because uh, they don't have enough black executives and they've taken aim at Nike precisely because they're number one. With top-of-the-range trainers retailing at around $150, Nike's profits have become other people's problems. In New York, people are killing each other over shoes. You know, you got a kid who would kill a little, a little kid for a shoe that's two sizes too small for him because he needs these $150 shoes. 
and that's because they've been trained that this is a this is a statement. You know, this isn't a pair of tennis shoes anymore. This is a way of life. You know, Nike. To say that we are targeting inner city youth really is not true. What we're really doing is targeting the elite athlete with the finest shoes we can make. Inner city youth, that's who's buying these shoes. You got a lot of brothers who really can't even afford Cheerios, you know, that get up in the morning and take off and beg everybody they can get a pair of Nikes because they relate to these sports heroes because those are the only heroes they have. Facing a boycott from Operation Push and also bad publicity surrounding the sneaker murders, Nike has been forced to act. Oh, sweat, oh, sweat, oh, sweat. Using sports heroes as positive role models, Nike are spending $5 million on their staying school and anti-drugs campaigns. If you're into drugs, don't get into my shoes. Mr. Robinson doesn't like garbage in his shoes. If you're into drugs, don't come into my neighborhood. Mr. Robinson doesn't like garbage in his neighborhood. Uh, right now, because of the size of Nike and some of the things that are going on, we have kind of a corporate responsibility to be involved in the community. Bo knows all this stuff because he stayed in school. Don't be stupid. Stay in school. It's not a moral issue, or it's not really a gift. It's marketing. It's marketing just like any other commercial. For Nike, this strategy is working. It has silenced many critics, and its market position remains unchanged. Well, at present, the boycott really has not affected our sales. We just showed the largest quarter that we've had. Uh, not only in sales, but also in futures orders, and time will tell. Am I making myself clear? Nike may be winning this battle, but it seems to be heading straight for another. Good, clean American competition. You know, it's there. Most of the articles go, sneaker wars, or, you know. We're very happy to be number three, and uh, we're going to keep working, and hopefully we'll get to number two, and someday we have plans to be number one. Watch out, guys. But hitting the number one spot may be more difficult than L.A. Gear imagines. L.A. Gear? Nobody wears L.A. Gear. Michael Jackson wears L.A. Gear. And that's the only person I know that wears L.A. Gear. And now for viewers who've taken to crossing the road to avoid their friends, here's the Dance Energy Guide to Hip Handshakes. Norms get out on the street, let's see who's about on their feet. Peace and look out. Follow me. What can I say? This is a touch. Terrific. Oh, I don't know what I call a quadraphonic touch. Too slow. High five time. Right, so the crowd, a song to deviate from the norm. I can't explore the four corners of the hip hop form. Cause right about now, I need it cool. And so next, I select the perfect spool. I get this bass, snare, and hi hat pumping out the system. Yeah, I like it like that. On the floor, I pour myself a glass. My head starts to sway, and I say, kick the brass instruction. I like it when I'm cooling out at the D's crib. And we spooling about with what we did last week. Tweaking the EQ or beats of the free Q. Or giving a game to the mic that I speak through. Or rocking the places that deep boost the bass till the windows bust. And that's just a taste of the power of the tower. I mean the hi-fi. What the hell, you might as well say bye-bye. What can I say? But that's the way. All you have to do is pull your hand out and play. Don't be shy. And if you don't know how, rewind the tape and we'll show you. That's all from the news. But there'll be more breaking stories next week. Respect each and every time. Look out, uh oh, oh, all those people who weren't on the phone voting for your favorite video. Your video probably lost, but then people who's in the place in the thick, look out, because here it comes.
raise your spirit level, cause it demands for Attitude is cool, breeze below zero Up against the wall, behaving like De Niro Trick is performing, taking his photo Making a stand with a tan, touch it like Coco Smooth to keep you moving at the back now Free as the needle, is moving through the track now Dance to the drummer's beats, we need new sticks and Bounce around the vibes like acoustics No drums or pharmaceuticals For the body In strife, ain't no sunshine in my life. Wise guys get protection when they carry a knife. They shouldn't have been born, they're making me yawn. But I just take it easy as a Sunday morning. So you come on, love a fire, and together we'll grow. Forever watch my AK rig go. Because my AK rig goes boom, boom. My AK rig goes boom. boom. Yeah, ramming in the jammer, yeah, we got the stamina. In case you never know, I said we don't get the stamina. And it's hard to handle, keep your distance. Resist on the boss, you get the pleasure of distance. The cool It, but you feel it when it's blowing on the street If I was a rich man What are you doing to me, babe? What can I say, but the lady down here is freaking out But next on the stand is my lady, DC Lee With the band Slam Slam Kicking it up with their new single called Something Ain't Right Check this out
Dance Energy Buzz Chart, live and direct from the nation's dance floors. At number 10, it's Free by Catch, remixed by Arthur Baker but produced by Piccadilly Radio DJ Stu Allen. New at number 9 is Dangerous by Frankie Bones and Tommy Musto, who are known surprisingly enough as Musto and Bones. Another new entry at number 8 is Since One Day by Tina Marie, known as Lady T to her mates. Falling to number 7 is that sparse bleep track, Rhythm Takes Control by Bradford Boys Unique 3. In at number 6 is I Can't Wait by Korea, and given the pumped up remix by Mars. Up 4 to number 5 is UK Black by Karen Wheeler, as seen on Dance Energy last week with her amazing hair. At number 4 is African Business with In Zaire, from the Italian production team of Gatto and Martinelli, straight out of Beat Cup Records. At number 3 in Climbing is I Hate Hate by Sound of Shoe, seen exclusively on Dance Energy just a few minutes ago. At number 2 is Power of Love from D-Light, who describe themselves as high-tech pioneers in the age of communication. And straight in as the number one track on the dance floor this week is Where Love Lives by Alison Limery. Watch Wednesday's Dance Energy Update for what's moving in and what's going out in the brand new sales chart. Three saying home. Yes, from? Manchester. What's your name? Samson. You come from Manchester? Manchester. What were the rest of them, Posse? Yeah, they're, yeah. All, they're everywhere. They're everywhere in here too. So what, you're on holiday then? No, I've been already. <laughs> oh, where'd you go? <laughs> I went to Ibiza. Ibiza? Oh, yeah. Ibiza. You know about that. Ibiza. Valeric Beats and all that business. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what was the club you went to over there? Amnesia. Respect each and every time. <laughs> Where's that young lady with the big bad baseball cap on? Oh, here she is, over here. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> 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 Fine. Where you come from? Manchester. Manchester. No, yeah. I'm from Manchester. Yeah. What can I say? Are you on holiday? No, I'm not on holiday. Well, where did I in New York? <laughs> what did you do in New York? I won a dance competition. Oh yeah, you won it. Yeah. What competition? Mixing Academy. At the BA. Yeah. Okay, respect is due each and every time. All I know is the dance energy posse was taken, of course, to Frankfurt. Not that sausage business, Germany. So look out. Here it comes. Shh. Is it serious or is it a joke? about six months making dance music. But that's not all I do while I'm here. As an American abroad, I have to do my shopping. And I found that the only place to shop here is on Schnipsdassen. But you have to remember one thing. Frankfurt is the most expensive city in Germany. Nothing's cheap here. This is D-Ski live in Frankfurt, Germany on BBC TV. We're now in front of one of the best record shops in Germany, Boy Record Shop Frankfurt. This is where you find the best German tracks and the best U.S. imports. Today, today is Friday. Today is where all the DJs come down and find out what's going on, the news, the scoop, or whatever. We're going to take you for a little tour inside and let you see what's going on in Germany. Come on, check this out. Now 
Frankfurt right now in Germany is the liveest place to be. Hi, I'm Thorsten. Hi, I'm Mark. From Planet Core Productions. Short PCP. Number one label for techno sounds. And dance floor underground. From the number one techno city, Frankfurt. Telecommunication electric cross, but this makes no sense. Yeah. Near Frankfurt, we don't like to play guitars. We prefer to jam with computers. Yes, yeah, support the next step of dance floor underground music. So do it. If you want to create future sounds, then you need equipment for totally 20,000 Dutch marks. You need an Emax 2 sampler for 15,000 marks, and you need a small computer for 1,300 marks. And also, you need a mixer for 1,200 marks. Stay with it. Peace. Peace. Most people buy synthesizers because they're very cheap, and it's very easy to make music with synthesizers. Hello, my name is Sven Feit. I'm living in Frankfurt since eight years. I'm a songwriter, producer, and I'm a DJ in my own club, Omen. Ist, glaube ich, das halt so interessant und auch deswegen die Hauptstadt des Dancefloors geworden, wegen der Clubszene hier in Frankfurt. Die DJs haben sich früh zusammengetan und haben hier Sachen selbst kreiert und einen eigenen Sound geschaffen. Frankfurt Sound. Hallo, mein Name ist Carlos Peron. Ich bin ein Sound Collector und Record Producer. Wir sind hier in der Dorian Gray in der Techno Club. Welcome to Dance Energy Dance Floor, where we're letting all hardcore fashion tips. Yes, without a doubt, look out. Here comes the first shout. Yo, what's your name, babe? Jill. Pardon? Jill. Jill, hello, Jill. Where are you from? Croydon. Where did you get them clothes from? Uh, oh. Croydon Market. Croydon Market, eh? Oh, how much? Uh, I don't know, 20 quid or something. 20 quid? All right, then, enough of that. Thank you very much. What can I say, Holes? I know you. Same. What's your name? Jeff J. Jeff J. in the house from the south side. Peace. Where are you coming from, Holmes? South London, Battersea side. Yeah? Yeah. The clothes are just doing it. You're so smart, man. What about, where does this come from, man? Well, I got this one from Carnaby Street. Yeah? Yeah. Hand tailored or just? Well, hand picked. Hand picked. That's the way, Holmes. And the tie, where does that come from? Nickelbees. Nickelbees. Yeah. Braces. Braces should pick them up down Oxford Street in some shop, you know? Yeah, yeah, just call them what? Like, what's the trash is saying? Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. My man is hype. Hype. This is the kind of style you want to follow, see? I'm just trying to make clothes that, uh, well, for one, are comfortable. Two, you can skate in. Skate in, skate in. Spend three days total, total breakfast, skate, go to work. And if it doesn't rip and it doesn't feel uncomfortable, then I know it's a good silhouette. 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 
pretty much street skaters who wear anything they can get their hands on. Hands on. Loose fitting, baggy, shorts, pants, shirts. Bronze Age, Stussy, Jimmy's, Limpies. Limpies is a good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Comfort's always number one. Number one. Comfort's always number one. How you look doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I'd use all these different fabrics. You know, I was using bedspreads and curtains. I'd go to parties in like these rich areas, the equivalent of the Beverly Hills or something like that, and take the curtains while no one was looking or whatever, and cut pant patterns out of them, and send them back the little scraps and make these killer pants out of these expensive ass drapes. It was the best. Killer pants, killer pants, killer pants. <laughs> Material, the more material, material, the better, because then it takes even longer to get dirty, you know? If you're wearing like tights or something, or there's about this much material, you get dirty like that. And this, you wear weeks, so they start getting moldy and stuff, and uh, you still don't have to wash them, so they're very large, very happening, very happening, very happening. It provokes a reaction. I just try to choose something that provokes a reaction. Action, action. And all these crazy patterns. Big baggy stuff, the baroque type of things like you might see on your favorite lawyer's tie. Furry beanie. Oh, okay, like on the assortment, see this hat? We, we change the fabrics all the time on that. So you could have like a billion people wearing the same hat and no one would look the same. That's why it's good. That's why it's good. That's why it's good. Like Patrick, this is happening. People won't like it, so it must be good. It must be good. It must be good. This is triple blue ribbon. This fake fur hooded sweatshirt. So warm, no dead animals. Super functional. This is a proud thing. A proud thing. A proud thing. <laughs> Wrinkles are extra. How you look doesn't really matter. A true skater who who knows what it's about, knows what time it is. Just wakes up in the morning, finds the first pair of shorts and shirt that, that fit comfortably, and goes and skates. A true skater, true skater, true skater. Big and baggy for skating. people that you show this to, whatever they think it's going to go to, that's not where it's going to go. As soon as it starts going that way, the kids are skating, skateboarders, and we'll do something else. Do something else. Do something else. Do something else. Look out, the next band is called A Whole Boy, A Hippie and A Funky Dread out of North London. Once they rocked the London party stations, and probably still do, but right now they're going to rock it for you with a new track called Total Confusion! Total Confusion! Total Confusion! You're taking in the lyrics like you're smoking a set, you're getting high. 
wondering why you can't fly. Ask me no questions and I will tell you no lie. Because the day is crazy and I made so I'll be free. I can keep on going for days, 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 days. Will turn to years. You still be here. And if I can have a chance, I'll stop up your ears. Cause I can kick from being sick. Quick, not sick. You come over here, you don't get your ass kicked into a hussy. Put under a stone cold surface. And when I finish that, I hold a jam at yourself. It's all astounding. And you're walking around in circles. And it's a big miracle. How you still going, slowing your battle. You're running low when you try. Then pull me back by the force. I keep towing you. On and on and on. But that's wrong. You should be concentrating on rapping your own song, cause rapping is an art. But there are many rappers, it takes talent. I got plenty of that, plus the fact that I ain't whack yet. You come over here, you know that you're gonna get slapped back to where you come from. Put me the punch, so you're done, done. I'll take you all on. Cause the truth to mess and just with the roughest. Manchester in the house is something to blow your mind into the atmosphere. Come on, feel the bass, cause London's here. Let the music move straight through your bloodstream And when you feel the vibe, you know what I mean By a place that's kicking from the heart And it's my time to get started On the beats that really matter This is not your average Chick chatter on the microphone You're all alone Talking away like it's a twilight zone Boy, you wanna change that Rearrange that Find a sucker on the street, then play that Cause that's played out And I'm paid in full So don't talk that bull Cause it's used to mess and jest with the roughest Manchester in the house has something to blow your mind into the atmosphere Come on, feel the rhythm cause London's here Radio stations like Princeton and Black as they call us a black But we'll see if they'll play this It's time to make the floor burn. Hey. 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 